For a change, Tila is called Beast Man and is going to sling him over her shoulders and whisk him away. Hey there, toy collectors. Today, we're going to be talking about Tila from the Masters of the Universe Mondo series. It's a 1-6 scale. Tila, warrior goddess. The packaging is incredibly beautiful, and luckily, there is a way for those who want to keep the figure in the packaging so you could display and show what's inside, but... I'm not that kind of guy. I want to take her out and I want her to be with all of her friends. Let's get to it. And here's this gorgeous warrior goddess. She comes with a shield, an alternate head with her ponytail being shown, another head that has an angry face, two sets of extra hands, a nifty stand to keep her upright, a sword and sheath that you could also attach to her, her snake armor, her snake staff, and a spear. I don't know if I want to display her with her snake armor. I think it is kind of cool, but then again, I like the way she looks without it too. Her boots have fuzz as does around her shoulders. I've seen some quality issues where some people's eyes for Tila where they're kind of off. Luckily, mine look like they're pretty good, so I'm happy with her. Nice view from the back there. I never noticed this until just now, but I kind of like the detail they added. I think she looks great with all of her weapons decked out here. I'll probably have her displayed with the snake staff. For me, I feel like that's just a bit more iconic. Sadly for me, the wrists and unfortunately the feet are very loose. This is a problem with a lot of Mondo products where the joints are incredibly loose and it's hard to display them. Yeah, this does look kind of cool with the armor, but still, I'm probably going to have her displayed without it. I'm more than likely going to have to use her stand to keep her upright, which is fine. That's what it's there for. But still, I would have liked to have kept her without it just to have more of like a background with the other Mondo figures that I have. Mondo figures are incredibly detailed and I love the articulation that they have. But like I said before, you don't want to move them around too much otherwise they're going to get really loose and then that's it. Real quickly I just want to show a comparison next to She-Ra and He-Man also from the Mondo series. As for Tila, she is absolutely beautiful. Other than the few little gripes I have about the joints she came out great and I highly recommend her if you're a fan of the character. I'm going to end this toy quickie review at this point. Thank you guys for joining me. Be sure to check out my Patreon site patreon.com slash gaycomicgeek. Check out my social media sites, my websites, and everything else out there. Peace, love, the Moss, and I'll join you guys later. Peace.